so much for watching. Today's video is my looking sweet in the heat video. So basically in this video I'm just going to be talking to you guys about like different tips and tricks that you guys can do um, to keep your body and yourself looking good in the summer because I know the summer you know it's great because everyone's out of school and it's hot and everything but seriously it can take its toll on you if you don't take care of yourselves. So today I'm just going to be giving you guys um you know, advice on, you know, how to do that, and yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get started. So my first tip that I have, like, I guess it's like my most important tip of all times um, for the summer is, of course, protect your skin. Like, nothing is nastier than an ugly sunburn, or, you know, nothing is I guess more painful maybe than looking like a hot tomato you know while you're walking around in your strapless new summer dress you know so anyways um yeah I would definitely recommend getting a really good um sunblock and the one that I use is the Vino continuous um, protection sunblock spray and this one's actually an SPF of 70 so it's like really really high but I feel like the more you can protect your skin um the you know the better your skin's gonna be and it's gonna thank you in the long run you know because no one wants skin cancer so um yeah my my number one tip out of all times for summertime is use your um sun protection so yeah Okay, the next tip that I have for summer is um, investing in a good lip balm. Now, I know I've showed you guys my favorite lip balm, which are the EOS lip balm, but I could not find it for like, I couldn't find it. So um, I'm just going to be showing just any lip balm chapstick um, that you guys like. Um, don't ever forget, you know, to wear it, especially, you know, in the summertime, sometimes we forget because I know for me, I wear it like most most often in the winter time, you know, because your lips are chapped and stuff. But in the summer, you tend to forget. But um, the skin on your lips, you know, it's also very delicate. So you have to remember to protect it. So um, invest in a good lip balm and don't forget to wear that thing all the time because, you know, nothing's nastier than chapped lips in the summertime, you know? So yeah, um, so yeah, definitely in invest in a good lip balm. That's my second tip. Um, my next tip for summer is also investing in good um, blotting sheets. Now, I have mine by e.l.f. and they're just the Shine Eraser um, oil blotting sheets. Now, I know, you know, not everyone has oily skin. Like, I know I do, but, um, but honestly, I feel like anyone, like, in the sun can get oily, like, at one point or the other so it's always good to have um these handy you know just in case you know you're out there outside you know maybe like at a summer party or something you know at a barbecue or something and your face you know it's 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 so sad and like gross to see like girls makeup like melting like you know when you're at a barbecue or something with your friends like who wants that you know so yeah definitely have these handy just in case you know you need them um, an emergency comes up you have them handy and I like these because they're um they're just um let me show you guys what they are they're just these little thin blotting sheets and this one's like um supposed to have like what does it say it has yeah, if this, these have um, green tea extract, so that's why they have like these little green um, spots in them. But don't think that they're dirty or anything. They're actually good for your skin. So yeah, you just use this and you just blot your face, you know, wherever you're um, oily and stuff. So yeah, these are awesome. I love them. I know there's also some by Clean and Clear. They're just blue and they're like a different... Um, different texture but those are great as well so yeah definitely any type that you can get uh definitely invest in that i know they also have those um those other sheets that have like built-in like powder in them to like you know like powder your face while you're blotting it but um that can get a little messy and i feel like that's a little like it can clog your pores as well so i would just say the regular ones is all you need so yeah okay my next tip is probably one that um Sometimes we as girls, we tend to like overlook, but we shouldn't, definitely not. And it's actually keeping your feet pretty. You know, when in the summertime is the time, you know, we wear our favorite sandals around like all day, every day. I know for me, 
I hate wearing socks. Like, I really do. Like, I really don't like them. Um, I know, especially when I get sick and stuff, my mom's always like, wear socks, you know, to sleep and stuff. But, oh my gosh, I cannot stand socks. I don't know why. But, um... But it's really bad, and especially in the summertime because, you know, you're wearing sandals, your feet are, like, you know, being exposed to, like, you know, hard surfaces on your sandals, and, like, you know, sometimes we'll walk around barefoot, like, at the pool or at the beach and stuff. So you need to remember to treat your feet. And um, what I suggest is maybe, like, once or twice a week, um, you know, get, like, a foot massage. Not, but not just, like, a foot massage, but, like, actually, like, like a foot spa treatment um I know we have like a like a little machine you know a little I don't know what they're called spa machine foot spa machines I don't know um at home so basically you just like soak your feet in like water and what I like using um is there are these products by Sally Hansen and they're the um pumice foot polish and the um a foot soak as well so basically what I do but I mean you don't have to have one of those little machines you I mean you can soak them in like you know like any type of plastic container like a deep container you just fill it up with like um like warm water and what I use is um this foot soak so I just put like a cap full of this in the water and I let it sit and then after I'll soak my feet in it for like I think 10 to 15 minutes and then after that um you rinse your feet off and then um, I use this, it's like a scrub. You can get, I mean, any scrub, but these are pretty good. I like them. And um, you just kind of scrub your feet with it. And this one's just like a, a lotion. It just looks like that. It's just like a lotion. And the other one is actually um, like liquid form, obviously, because you put it in the water. But um, this, you just like scrub your feet with this for like a couple minutes and then after you rinse your feet off as well and after that you can just apply like um, a lotion for your feet and the one that I use is um, this one it's by Earth Therapeutics I think that's the brand and um, it's just this tea tree oil foot repair balm so basically it's like meant for your feet um, you know to repair your feet you know if they're if they've had a hard life um, yeah so you just put this on after you've you know treated your feet with other products um and this is going to help you like relax your feet it says um it soothes to deodorizes and repairs dry damaged skin so it's like really good um and you can get this at ulta that's where i got this one at. i think this was like six bucks and then i got these were also like six something at walmart so yeah definitely take care of your feet girls because definitely it's it's definitely worth it like you don't want to be walking around with like crusty feet and like people looking at you like ill what is wrong with that girl but yeah definitely and you know take care of your feet okay and the last trick that I have or tip that I have is for those girls who um color treat their hair now I know I do I just got highlights recently and um you know it's really important to keep your hair like good at condition as you can and, you know, sometimes girls, you know, face problems with, like, fading and stuff, like, after they um, treat or color their hair. So what I think it's a good trick to do before you get into the pool, especially the pool, um, um, I guess you can do it in, like, beach water as well. But before you get in the pool, um, especially because of the chlorine, you should rinse your hair out with just, like, water. It's just, like, um you know clean water just like wet your hair rinse your hair and that way um, and then go in the pool because if you go into the pool with your hair you know dry and you just jump in the pool like the chlorine can you know can damage your hair so much more than if your hair was already like rinsed out with water so if you so definitely rinse your hair out with water and then get in the pool and yeah I, I've done this and I find it helpful just because um you know, I hate, you know, spending so much money on your hair, you know, treating your hair and stuff, and then having to spend more money trying to fix your hair again. So, you know, why not just take the precautions and take care of it from the start? <laughs> okay, so that is it for all my summer tips and tricks. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys definitely try these um, tips and tricks out because they're definitely worth it. <laughs> um, let me know how it works out for you, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!